Got some scrapyard and some played against sports action for you today. Uh, there's one piece of junk. Okay. So what I have planned is I'm gonna come back and get that big dog and uh, clean up some of this other stuff. I'm gonna test out the battery charger and uh, I may scrap these brand new struts. Um, I don't know. I might hold off on those actually. I'll look them up. But uh, just kind of going to uh, probably break a $200 vase. <laughs> um, got some brass. And what else I got here I could take, I wonder. I think that's enough. So these are uh, weightlifting bars for like bench press. Bench press bars, they're kind of big looking. Well, I suppose if you put weights on there, they won't look quite so weird. They just seem extra long to me. But I suppose, yeah. Yeah, those are those are the real deal right there. Um, those might be worth a pretty penny at played against sports. So I'm gonna run down there, and I just have a load of uh, a couple old printers I tore up. And uh, with these printers, what I do is I take off I take off like the top the top piece that has like the glass. And if they have a scanner, if they have a piece of glass. I just ripped that whole top lid off of there because it's plastic and glass and some scrapyards don't like this stuff. I try to clean those up a little bit. Um, lots of scrapyards might not even take printers, particularly the, the newer printers because uh, they're just going to be more, more plastic and glass the newer they get. That's, that's the cheap printers, real, ex real expensive printers. Uh, might have quite a bit of scrap metal in them, but I'm gonna take that load in and see what I can get for those barbells. And uh, I'm going to, I need to make a free tail story video, clear some of this stuff out of here. Lots of times people will make the comment, I see, why do I stack stuff into just the front of the storage unit? That's because it's not intended to stay here for very long. And then uh, I just start making videos and it gets kind of backed up and that's why it looks like that. But, uh, that's a nice one. I think that one is a step up from your average battery charger. So I'm going to come back and test that out. I'm going to scrap out this copper. Those are the kind of wires that's definitely worth it to strip. So I claimed about twenty dollars in copper there, and uh, I'll see if that's true or not. Let's see, three, just say three fifty pounds. So set fourteen would be four. Five pounds would be seventeen fifty. So six pounds would put me over twenty dollars. That's probably right about. That's probably pretty close. But anyways, that's the plan for now. The plans could change. mess up my little thing in my jiggy definitely not recommended oh, those are the real deal boy I tell you what those are real real weightlifter that's those are bodybuilder barbells right there twenty five hollers 
I was kind of thinking I might get it more, but I'm not I'm not disappointed because that's actually pretty good. I I know there'll be a comment saying I should sell them on Craigslist or something, but this way I just get it done with, you know, just a couple minutes, just uh, just to stop on our way to the scrapyard. Unless of course it blows me. Twenty-five dollars at the scrapyard. They would be uh, what's the deal? Eleven cents. It would be. Uh, those were about 20 pounds a piece, I think. So, two dollars two 20 cents each one. Four dollars and 40 cents at the scrapyard. So, uh, maybe I could sell them for a little more somewhere else, but $25 is not bad for 40 pounds of steel to a scrapyard. What do you think about that? Farkle. Is it possible to dumpster dive for scrap metal at a scrapyard? Uh, not today. Just getting back from lunch. See how the gate's just been open. <clears throat> this place closes from uh, 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Alrighty, Let's see how we did here. 22 pounds of tin, seven cents a pound, dollar fifty-four. One pound of clean cans, fifty cents. One pound aluminum breakage, ten cents. Five pounds of dirty brass. That's a bummer. 75 cents a pound. And one pound of clean brass for a dollar eighty. Uh total on a dirty brass was three dollars seventy-five cents. Grand total of seven eighty-nine. One size too small. Utility cable cutters got those used on eBay for like 30 35 bucks. I may have underestimated the weight of this, but we're gonna find out. Let's see, I'm only working harder than I have to. This stuff can be difficult to yank through there. I found some aluminum electric power lines a while back and I talked about these. I should have taken that tool with me when I went back out there. It didn't matter, I got it, but uh, that's it. the exact reason these are invented. These are for cutting through copper and aluminum power lines. Uh, utility, utility cable cutters. <laughs> I guess the name says it all. You might not realize what the name means at first, but they look like they look like bush lops, tree tree trimmers. I suppose you could use them for that too if you really want to. But not for steel. Someone who owned these before me, it looks like they went through a nail. See that? And they will go through a piece of steel, but you'll ruin the blades pretty quick.
See what I mean? <laughs> That's why I didn't even attempt it before when it was longer. Once you get one out, then uh, the other two just flop out. So, this is the guy giving me problems. whole piece is aluminum that's not oh that is though. I don't know sometimes it's hard telling that is not aluminum that chunk is though cast aluminum you can tell cast aluminum see how it's made like that that's why they call it cast. It comes out of kind of like a mold. Steel. Aluminum, aluminum. I'm gonna say aluminum on that piece. Definitely. That insulation that's nice well, that's good stuff man um the insulation is almost paper thin i was expecting something bigger than that huh
that's the docking station for a household cordless phone from AT&T. You see little gold plates in there. See the circuit board? I caught a glimpse of that. See that? I don't know if you can see it yet on the GoPro, but I can see gold plate down in those eight holes. So uh, we'll give it one of these. I'll try the right hand. The trick is, I mean, I could take those four screws out if I wanted. <laughs> but uh, the trick with doing this is you got to throw it hard enough to break it, but soft enough to where you don't make a mess and pick up 20 little pieces of plastic to spray all over. So... That was just about the perfect throw there. Um, gold plate. Sometimes you can't see it on the GoPro the way I can see it. So nothing special. That's probably a good little chip. I'm not a pro on the on the little chips, but if you search it out on YouTube, you can find channels that'll run through that information. See all that? I can't see anything on the GoPro screen when I do that. But with the naked eye, it's just big, big glowing. So, there, I think you can see it right there. On the back side, it's even more. Okay, look at that. This guy's gonna have to wait for another day. I need to get down the scrap there. I'm just gonna scrap these. Um, I was thinking about trying to sell them. Problem is, is they've both been opened and retaped, so I could run into a serious headache. Or all the bolts and pro stuff aren't in there. I don't think. Maybe they could use the old ones, but uh, I'm just kind of came to the conclusion that scrapping stuff isn't all that bad. 
I could probably make a lot more money selling them, but uh, I could also run into a nightmare situation. Sell those on eBay, spend, uh, I don't know, $60, $70 on shipping to someone, and then they say, that's the wrong, it's the wrong model, it's the wrong part. You know, the box says this, but they're not the right part. So then they ship them back because I don't know if they're scamming me or not. And even even if they're not scamming me, now I've paid $60, $50, $70. Those are super heavy. I suppose FedEx, I might get it, do it for $50 or $60. Post office probably even more. But, uh, you know, so then there's, say it's just $50. I lose the $50. I ship it to them plus i gotta pay fifty dollars to have them return ship it back to me. so i could be out a hundred dollars right i could take an hour to mess around with those and list them and pictures and blah 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 blah, and then run into a nightmare and spend another hour messing around and uh, then be out a hundred dollars and then take them to the scrapyard right so <laughs> uh you just you just start to learn stuff like that sometimes it's just better to just get rid of stuff and get stuff done um it's just something that slowly occurs to you over time and i think that's about gonna do it down to the scrapyard Lots of times, if you watch my videos, you see me pull off to the side and sort stuff out into buckets and show it to you. Um, lots of people wonder about that. Um, one of the reasons I do it is because it makes a good video to new people. I'm showing them several different categories of things. Uh, as opposed to just coming in with a thing of tin. Here's my load of tin video over right so that's one thing and then it saves me time actually at the storage unit not not messing around organizing stuff just i gotta dump it all into one container anyways when i come here so uh, it's not that big a deal but the thing that i don't talk about or show is lots of times it's it's no different in time right i'm not wasting anyone's time i'm not wasting my time really because i'll sit here see how i'm just sit here behind this guy this guy just has 10 and he's gonna pull around to the back but it's all one line so uh by the time that load up there is gone and this guy pulls around and i can have it all sorted out and blabber blabber face to you for a while about it and it's basically the same thing right so <laughs> Look at that. Look at that right there. Woo. I didn't even see that. Oh wow, look at that. Oh wow. Oh dang. Oh, four of those. Sheesh. That's all copper, man. All number one copper, too. Uh, I think that was number two, actually. Number one wire. No, it's number. No, no, no. Yeah, number one copper wire. Oh, it says on the boxes. <laughs> number two, copper tube. Number one, copper tube. Number one, copper pipe. That's the good stuff, folks. That, sheesh, that, you could probably buy a house with those four. That's how much money that's worth. Maybe, no, three, six, nine, twelve. Down payment on a house. That's probably 12, 15 grand or so maybe i'm just guessing if those weigh a thousand pounds each it'd be four thousand pounds times four dollars would be 16 grand take off one about 15 grand and uh, i might be underestimating that what you think oh shoot there's two more number two copper wire number two copper tube six of those things sitting right here man oh man
Okay, so this is the time where I would have sorted this stuff out. I don't show that very often. See what I mean? Sometimes you can come here and just pull straight to the scale. But uh, this place has been super busy lately with scrap prices up. Uh, usually now when I come here, it's a line. There's already three people behind me. It's already lying out to the street. So 10 minutes later. <laughs> One interesting thing about this scrap yard that's a little different than probably most scrap yards is they allow people to come through here and buy stuff out of their yard for double the price of scrap so i will tell them that i think these are new and uh, they might set them aside for some of the some of the people to come here and buy stuff or they might take them inside their store and sell them so even though i'm scrapping them these might not end up with scrap <clears throat> someone might come through here and buy these for twice the price of scrap which would be 14 cents a pound for those and i think together they're worth to the right person they may, it might be worth up to 200 dollars 100 dollars 200 dollars maybe um but anyways lots of the nice stuff that you see me here to bring here might not actually go to the scrap mills it could it still has a chance of being reused by someone more copper a little bit uh, so yeah um there's there's quite a few people to come here every day and snatch up the good stuff so uh, those have a chance of still going on a vehicle somewhere Now you mind if I keep the camera rolling? Yes, sir. You sure? Yes. I want to show your faces. That's all right. These are good, man. These are brand new. Are they? Yeah, have them. I don't know what you want to do with them. They might not be the right ones in my package. No, 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 no. Just, oh, just, grab, just grab the metal. You're just getting rid of the metal today. Or you, or you can grab the top tote if you want. Don't grab the bottom one. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Bottom one. Yeah. I'll get these guys trained eventually. Yeah. They're getting there. It's just, it's just some tin, some aluminum. Sorry, I didn't mean to help you, dude. Oh, okay. Got some of the good stuff. Ouch. Ooh. You know what? Actually, let's take this out of here like so. Those are, those are, I think they're unused, man. Brand new. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if they're the right ones and match the box, though. That's the problem. Looks like it. But them guys that come through here, man, they probably want to snatch them up and leave them out in the open. Does it match up? I suppose I could have taken the time to check, huh? Oh yeah, I'm gonna put on this side. <laughs> now you can stay on there if you want. <laughs> you look like you're about 200. Yeah, at least. <laughs> That's not one. You want to keep that in the bucket or you want to dump it out? Hey, hold on. Hold on, your scale said negative one. Pick that, pick that for a second, would you? Look at that. Look at that. Wind's Look at that. There we go. Toss it on there. On my good stuff, too. Oh, no. 
Nah, sini. Okie dokie. Nah, I just got good eyes. Was that all for you? Yeah. You got my brass bucket, didn't you? I have uh, the idea that the owner of this place is holding all this metal back because this might be a good piece of information to scrappers out there watching. The owner of this place is clearly holding this metal bag. So he... It appears to me without asking that he's under the impression scrap prices are gonna go considerably higher. I've never seen a scrapyard hold back metal like this. That might be a fancy schmancy little indicator out there to all the scrappers watching. The owner of this place is clearly holding his, holding his metal bag. He's just got this stuff just sitting out here. <laughs> he doesn't even care. He's risking people coming here at night and just walking away with a, a brick of copper or a brick of cans. So uh, he's probably got some inside information. Well, not real inside information, but he's probably got some experienced information. Lottie Dottie. Get away from all those engines. Uh, what do we got here? Thirty-four dollars and uh, sixty-eight cents. Those shocks were uh, seventy-four pounds plus that electrical box. It's seven cents a pound for five dollars eighteen cents. The cast aluminum that was there, thirty-five cents a pound for seventy cents. By the looks of this yard. This owner of this place is probably thinking that aluminum's gonna go up higher. He didn't say that to me, but just <laughs> if I had to guess by looking at this place, I've never seen it look anything like this in the 12, 13, uh, 14 years now. Uh, number one copper wire, that was only nine, or no wait, what does that say? Nine nine pounds yeah that's oh that's yeah shoot that's uh almost twice as much as i thought of it uh the problem is the copper price came down what's the deal with that man three dollars twenty cents a pound um maybe they give a little more for copper pipes i thought it was the same price though copper appears to have come down to 320 for uh 28 dollars 80 cents grand total 34.68 not a bad little session I sure hope you enjoyed this show if you uh, are new to this game I have a couple playlists down in the description linked up down there just click on those if you don't see them click on the show more link and the whole description will open up I got a bunch of scrapping videos down there and uh, you can watch a couple of those playlists and get a couple year head start on what you'd learn just if you're out there by yourself there's other really good channels on youtube if you just search the youtube search engine for scrap and uh, selling stuff and scavenging and dumpster diving and if you need money you can go out uh, as soon as you turn your device off or your tv or if you're on your phone out there right now you can do it in within minutes <laughs> uh, if you need money if you need money man you can walk out your door right now and uh Find where your local scrapyards are at. Metal is money, literally. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching.